OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to set a reminder. I'm going to do this for calendar days and working days. You can see in this sheet that I've set a reminder on three tasks. I can see the reminder text in column D, but I've also applied conditional formatting to those tasks. OK, let's start with calendar days. We're going to set a reminder if the task is due in the next seven days. But you could use the same method if you wanted to be reminded of tasks due in the next 14 days or 28 days. Now I've got a helper column here and we're going to find out the number of days between the due date and the current date. Now the date of recording is the 4th of December 2023. So I'm going to create a formula in this helper column. I'm going to take the due date and subtract from it today's date. Now we can use the today function to do that and that will always return the current date. Now you may get a date as an answer when you do this, but all you need to do is change the format of the cell back to general. So there are no days between today's date and the due date because this task is due today. Now if I copy this down, it will calculate the number of days between today's date and the due date for each of the tasks. Now in column D, I need to write an AND statement. What I need to do is check whether this number here is greater than zero and it's less than or equal to seven. Now I need to check it's greater than zero because if the number is zero, then it's due today. And I want a reminder if the task is due in the next seven days. So I'm going to say is C4 greater than zero, comma, and is C4 less than or equal to seven? Now you could put 14 or 28 days in that part of the formula. I'm putting in seven because I want to be reminded if the task is due in the next seven days. I close the bracket and press enter. And if I copy this down, I'll get a true if the task is due in the next seven days. Now, rather than returning these trues and falses, I just want to return reminder if the task is due in the next seven days. Now to do that, I use an if statement. So I'm putting my AND formula within the IF formula. And the AND part of the formula is the logical test. I put a comma after that, and my value of true will be reminder. Now that could be any text that you like. Comma, and my value of false is just gonna be an empty text string. And that's gonna return a blank cell. That's two speech marks, nothing in between. I close the bracket at the end and press enter. And then if I copy this formula down, it will show a reminder if the task is due in the next seven days. Now at the moment, I'm using a helper column to achieve this reminder. Now if I want to get rid of the helper column, all I need to do is copy this formula. I don't need the equal sign. Control C to copy. Go back into my reminder formula. And in place of the C4 reference, I just paste in that formula and I have to do it here as well. And then if I press enter and copy this down, the formula will still work. Then I can get rid of this helper column. Now to highlight the rows where I've got a reminder, all I need to do is copy this logical test. So if I go into the formula and select the logical test argument by clicking on that text there, it will highlight or select that logical test. Control C to copy it and press enter to come out of the formula. Then I need to select from the beginning of the task list down to the last cell in my table. I go to the conditional formatting button. This is on the home tab of the ribbon. I go to new rule. I go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And in this box, I type in equals and then paste in my formula. So that's control V. Now I need to make a couple of changes to this formula. If I click just before that B, of that first reference to B4, I need to put a dollar in front of that cell reference. I also need to do that here. Then I go to the format button. Make sure I'm on the fill tab of this dialog box and I'm gonna choose a light green background. Click on OK, click on OK. And now I have those reminders highlighted. Okay, let's see how we can do exactly the same thing with working days. 
So I want to show a reminder if the task is due in the next seven working days. And here I'm assuming Monday to Fridays are working days. Now, just like in the previous example, I've got a helper column. And in this helper column, I'm going to use a function called network days. This will calculate the number of working days between two dates. So my start date would be today's date. So I can use the today function to return that, comma, and my end date will be the due date, comma. Now holidays is a non-mandatory argument, but we're going to use it here to specify that the 25th and the 26th of December are non-working days. So all you need to do is create a list of Monday to Fridays that are non-working. Then you can just select your dates and I will need to lock the reference to those holidays. And I can do that by pressing F4 on my keyboard. Now, if F4 doesn't work for you, just put the dollars in as you see them there in my formula. Close the bracket and press enter. You can see that it returns one if the due date is today's date. Now I want that to be a zero because I don't want a reminder if the task is due today. So all I need to do at the end of this formula is put minus one. Now I can copy this formula down and it will calculate the number of working days. Now to create the reminder, we'd have to use the AND function to begin with. And we'd say, is this number greater than zero? Just like we did in the previous example, comma, and is this number less than or equal to seven? Again, that could be 14 or 28, depending on your requirements. Close the bracket and press enter. If I copy this down, I get my trues and my falses. And then I can put it within an if. So instead of true, I want to return the word reminder. And instead of false, I want an empty cell. So that's two speech marks, nothing in between. Close the bracket, copy this down, and I get a reminder for four of the tasks. Now I can get rid of this helper column by copying this formula. So I've selected it and I'm using Control C in my keyboard to copy it and then go back into this if and wherever I'm referring to C4, I just paste in that formula. I can then copy down this formula and it'll still work, but I can get rid of this helper column. Now to highlight the rows where I've got a reminder, all I need to do is copy the logical test within this if statement. So I select the logical test argument in this screen tip. I copy it, control C, and press enter to come out of the formula. Then I select from the first task to the bottom of my table. I go to the conditional formatting button, new rule. I select use a formula to determine which cells to format. In this box, I type in equals and control V to paste in my formula. Now, wherever I'm referring to B4, I need to put a dollar before the B. And then I click on the format button here. I go to the fill tab and I click on this light green color. Click on OK, click on OK, and it highlights the tasks with a reminder. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.